Greetings After Effects folks, let's take a look at this fun effect where we shatter the face of the Mona Lisa, boom, to reveal a skeleton below. Nice and cheesy. Okay, so let's uh, break this down. Okay, so let's take the image that I found just on Google, do a new comp from that. Okay, and I'm going to put the shatter effect on this. Okay, the shatter effect kind of shatters the layer. So it's good to kind of get an understanding of how this works. So we can see there's the rendered version, shattering the whole thing in bricks. So we want to change this a bit to make small shatters. So let's just change the camera position here and rotate it round on the Y axis. Okay, so you see here what we've got is this, this ball which shatters the layer. There you go, you can see this. So as the, this layer is the bricks in the center and this blue object is like a wrecking ball, okay? So if I change, that's force one. That's represented by force one there. So if I, for example, change the depth, okay, if I move that back, okay, it won't shatter, okay? Because it's behind the wall, if I animate that, so I can add a keyframe and then move that forward a few frames and animate this to uh, move through the layer. There you go, it will move through the wall and shatter it. Just like throwing a big ball through a wall. So what I want to do is make this ball much smaller and take down the radius. Okay, the smaller I make it, the more it's just going to travel through the wall. So I need to actually hit you there and as it passes through. Okay, because at the side, it's just going to knock out a few bricks there. Okay, so let's uh, go back to the Y rotation and put that back to zero because that was just to kind of demonstrate. You can see that it's passing through here, knocking out a, th a few of these bricks. And we can move this ball about. Oops. So if we just go to the uh, position, so I might sort of, we can move it about later, but I might position it somewhere above the eye. So got some keyframes there, it passes through, it knocks a few out. So what I want to do is if we look at this, go up to our rendered, you can see it's knocking a few bricks out of the face there. So we can always, we can always change like, you know, if we wanted to start on the forehead, we could move it up here. Okay, but rather than bricks, I'm going to change the shape. So in the shape settings, I'm going to just go and choose glass. Okay. And what I want to do is have smaller pieces. Okay, so I'm going to increase the repetitions. Okay, and then as I increase the repetitions, I'll get lots of of little pieces. So if I put my wireframe back on, okay, I can see all these repetitions. So the more I increase the repetitions, the smaller the pieces I'll get. So I just get little, little shards popping out. That should do it. So go back to rendered. And there you go. You've got all these little pieces popping out now. Just animate that. So just play that, boom. Okay, so now all we need to do is just duplicate this effect a few times. So I'll just go on the effect, I'll just do Command D for duplicate, shatter two. I'll take this, I'll move this to the new part of the face. So let's say we shatter the cheek there. Okay, and I'll just, um, if I hit U, and then you again, it'll show me the keyframes. So I can move these keyframes along a bit. Okay, so this, this first one shatters, then the next one. So the, And then it's just a case of repeating that however many times you like. So I'll just do it, boom, boom. So it's just 
punching through the face. So there we go. So I can take Shatter 2 and I can hit Command D on this. And then I can move that. Let's maybe do an I. Okay, I could even change some of these settings. I could maybe make the um, go to Force 1. I could make it a little, increase the radius slightly. You know, whatever you want to do, you can change it up a little bit. Okay, I'll hit U there. You again, and I'll move these keyframes forward. So they're kind of, one's starting as one's just shattering. Boom. So it's punching out all these. Okay, and then I just need to do that. I won't, I won't do it, I did it seven times before. Do it as many as you like. I just do it enough to punch through the face. And then all you need to do is take, I've got our skull image here. So I kind of made that, I made it 3D so I could sort of rotate it around a little bit to kind of match the face. She's sort of leaning to one side and just kind of maybe make it a little bigger to, just to get it about the right size for the face. Something like that, drop that to the bottom layer. Okay, and as it shatters, you'll sort of see the skull start to appear. Okay, so you put it all together and you'll end up with what was something fun like that. Okay, so so the shatters a great effect and I, I like it when you do little shatters, little particles and small, punching small holes multiple times. You can do some nice effects with that. So there you go. Thanks for watching, buddies.